Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a critical maintenance task. I have a server down here and there is a yellow light diode right there. That's not good and that's because over here there is another yellow light diode and that's because I have a dead disk and that's not specifically lucky because that's the server I use the most. So I have to change that disk to not lose any data. But just before I want to change the disk, I want to go in to the IMM adapter and check that, that what it's saying about that disk. So it, let's very quickly go to the computer and check out what's wrong with the disks. If we can see anything or if it has just failed. At the computer here, I've logged into the IMM adapter of the server. And already here on the welcoming page, it's very clear that something is wrong. Some of the parameters are abnormal and right down here, critical events, it tells me that drive drive zero has been disabled due to detected failure. And it's complaining about that the array is in critical condition. And yes, it's in critical condition. I have to go change that drive right away because if one more drive fails, I'll lose all the virtual machines that are on those disks and I don't want to do that. So let's go back out and change that drive. Okay, the disk is defective, so we have to change it. Let's see what kind of a disk there is in that server. There's, here's a close up of the disk and this is a, a 300 gigabyte SAS disk and it has a replacement number called 42D. 0638. I wouldn't be running much of a data center if I didn't have a disk like that laying around in stock. So it's right here. It's a 300 gigabyte of the same number. Right there. Same kind of disk. Same kind of disk. So we're going to take this one out and replace it with this one. And now the disk will start to synchronize. This is a RAID 5, so the data on these two disks will be written over to the disk that is brand new there. Right now it's, it's tasting the disk, checking if this will work. And when, uh, when they are confident that this will work, it will be lighting up just green and blinking a lot. And they will be transferring data between those disks. And here I just have another broken disk that's probably not good for anything. I could probably take him apart and take out the magnets. This server is running VMware ESXi. I forget which version. It's not very informative on of what it's doing. And I haven't installed an, an IBM slash Lenovo specific VMware on this server. So but we can go in and see what the IMM says about it. So let's let's see if there's any change on the computer and we can come back out here and see if it's um, decided to just light up green. We've been there for a little while. Back at the computer here. At the welcome screen here, we can see that something has changed. Now it's not complaining about disk zero anymore. That was right around here. Uh, it's still complaining about some monitored parameters that are abnormal and that's because oh and then it updated and that's because the array is still critical if I lose one of the other disks I'm still let's just say I'll have a bad day let's go into the event log and in here we can see that the disk has failed let's see the 22 5 seems like the clock is it it failed this morning at almost six o'clock three two minutes to f to six o'clock this morning the drive failed and at the same time the it registered that the array was in critical conditions there was 
no hot spare to take over work or anything like that. Here at 20.36 I logged in to, to do the first part of this video. And here I have exchanged the disk and it now says that it's it's rebuilt rebuild in progress of the array system. Apparently the, the array has some kind of a serial number. I have no idea what that does. But it says here that drive zero has been enabled. So I'm guessing that it's probably it has probably stopped lighting up yellow, but well this is probably what we can see right now. So let's go see if the server become green. The disk has not become green yet, but the error over here has disappeared. So we are halfway there. This is kind of my mission critical server where everything is on. Like the internet connection is being routed through that server. So if that dies, every everything else loses internet connection. And also my vCenter is located on that server. So it would be kind of a problem. I would have to install a lot of software if, if that disk just disappeared. That's how easy it is to exchange a disk in a mission critical server. My stuff is not really that mission critical, otherwise I would protect my data better. Up here there is a lot better protection from disks. They run a RAID 6 with two hot spares in each case. So there is like four disks protection. You can lose four disks and it will still run. But then it will be really time to change the disk up there. But on the server itself there is only a RAID 5. I hope you got something out of this. Thank you for watching my videos. Do uh, try the button down there the, that have this finger on it. I like it. So uh, have a really nice day. Bye bye.